check it. Alright guys, what is up? I'm back for another AMC Ape and overall stock market update. I cover the technical analysis for those three stocks and the fundamental data, the macro outlook, the overall bigger picture of the economy and what is going on in it. And I also check out the technical data and what you need to know for next week. All of the news, all of the technicals and predictions that you need for next week to prepare you for the trading week. So let's go ahead and check out the charts, the fundamental data and see what we have going on. All right, guys, what is up? You're back for another update with AMC Ape in the overall stock market. So, guys, what I'm looking at in this video is the technical analysis for these three stocks and the fundamental data for AMC, preparing you for this week, upcoming trading week. So, what I'm looking at on the SPY is basically a very bearish scenario. I do think we have more room to the downside. I did drop a very good video on how a market crash could cause the AMC short squeeze. Go ahead and check that out. I'll link it down in the comments in the description. But as you guys can see on the technical analysis side of things, uh, besides the fact that there are banks crashing, which could cause contagious, which could cause a overall crash bigger than 2008, this thing could spread and cause a economic collapse. That is absolute fact. We could see the market absolutely start to capitulate. But as of right now, this move that it's in right now after breaking this overall downtrend, this macro downtrend resistance is a bearish move i said if we break this line here we would see a major down move and that's exactly what happened we came out of it retested it got the bounce and it looked very bullish but then we got bad news from the fed and got a pullback and now we are absolutely dumping because we had that bank contagion which pushed us through resistance and we have more room to the downside as you guys can see rsi is not oversold on the daily time frame so we are on the daily time frame as you guys can see here and the macd is looking extremely bearish so just off those basic technicals alone this move right here still has a lot more momentum to the downside people are starting to panic potentially and this move could easily keep continuing to the downside i don't see us getting a bounce just yet even if we zoom in on the smaller time frames you can't even see any signs of a bounce we are trying to hold support here at the three thousand eight hundred and forty six dollar level if we break that level you'll definitely see us come down to about three thousand seven hundred or 3,800 even. Um, there is a small gap fill down here that could be potentially filled at about 3,800, about 3,900. Um, so that could potentially be pulling us down as well. But if you look at the even bigger time frames there's a bigger gap down here at 3400 and i think this gap potentially could be filled if we break this 3600 dollar level this red resistance i have here we will definitely come down to that level and test that uh overall support and see if we will fill that gap i am looking at for the crash that we are going to be seeing this potential level to come into play three thousand four hundred dollars i do think the spy will be coming down to that level here in the short term to midterm aspect of things the outlook of things so basically what i'm saying is i'm very very bearish on the spy um, and that is what the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis is telling me looking at the overall macroeconomic picture and looking at the technical analysis is saying i'm very bearish on the spy things you can do to prevent um, downside on the spy is buy stocks like sqqq um, that goes up when SPY goes down. And of course, you can take even more um, controversial approaches and do what I think is a great market hedge and buy AMC and other meme stocks because I think they will squeeze when the market crashes. But, <clears throat> but that is the technical analysis for um, the overall stock market. Let's go ahead and check out APE and check out AMC and then tell you what you guys need to know for this week. Um, we definitely need to look at the data for... Um, what's coming out for the news so we have core inflation rate coming out year over year core inflation rate which will definitely be affecting the market and then we also have the inflation rate news year over year coming out as well if this comes out below um, we are good so if it comes out below the expected numbers here that you guys can see the 5.5 and the 6% if it comes out below those numbers will be good if it comes out above those numbers the market will absolutely dump this is on Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. So that is what I'm looking at for 
um, the news and the data coming out for this week. Ape technical analysis, we are basically still in this overall downtrend. As you guys can see on the bigger time frames though, the daily time frame, that the MACD as the bearish wave, as you guys can see, these kind of comes in waves. And as on the S&P 500, we are still in a big wave. This uh, MACD is starting to cross over and starting to cross to the bullish phase on the MACD on the daily time frame, which is a bullish sign. If you look, we had a bullish MACD on the four hour, but it is starting to go into the bearish phase, but the four hour can switch on and off. That's why I look at the daily time frame for the bigger moves. When in doubt, zoom out, look at the bigger pictures. And the, when you zoom out, you guys can see that we have higher lows and higher highs. So we are still in an uptrend for eight as long as ape holds this dollar 50 range it could even come down to about a dollar 20 and it would still be extremely bullish in my opinion but the thing about ape is the technical analysis will only tell you so much you need to really look at the fundamentals for ape and know that it is a a preferred equity unit that you are literally buying AMC at a discounted price. Ape can be converted to AMC at any time if we have the vote. And that means if it converts, it's going to convert at AMC's price and you will instantly get that profit. So even hedge funds are playing this trade and a lot of hedge funds are loaded up on AMC and Ape so they can try to vote against us. They really want this trade to go through. They want this vote to go through. They want the reverse stock split to go through. And my personal Personal opinion I'm not going to get into it in this video but that is why you should vote no but that is not for me to tell you um, that's your decision but that's neither here nor there but that is what you guys are holding you're literally holding gold because it can be converted to AMC at any time it's literally the same thing as AMC and if we lived in a perfect world it would be the same exact price as AMC but it's heavily shorted and heavily manipulated if you look at the most shorted stocks on Yahoo's most shorted stock list ape is the number one most shorted stock in all of stock markets i've covered this on my videos many many times and this stock is heavily manipulated but with that manipulation and with that risk becomes a great reward the higher the risk the higher the reward and that is what you need to realize so price is not wheel on eight you have to realize that and literally you're buying AMC at a dollar fifty and when AMC runs, I believe Ape will run and I believe it will do a great percentage, maybe even more percentage price gains than AMC. That is just my personal opinion. But as far as technical analysis, like I'm saying, we are still in a uptrend. We still have a higher high, a higher high. We have a higher low, a higher low, and a higher low. Even if we came down to a dollar twenty, this dollar twenty retest, it would still be bullish. I think we would get a bounce um, at a dollar twenty. It looks like this move is coming to an end because RSI is getting oversold on the four-hour time frame and on the daily time frame. If you look at these RSIs, um, they are getting close to oversold or the oversold range. So the lowest I could see eight possibly coming down to is a dollar twenty, and then probably getting a bounce around that level. That is just my personal opinion on ape, on the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis on ape. So let's go ahead and check out AMC and find predictions for next week for AMC. I do think AMC will be green next week. I think we are going to see a green week for AMC next week. Things are looking extremely good. If we look on the smaller time frames, you guys can see that we are already starting to get the bounce. So if we look on the bigger time frames, I'm like still extremely bullish. I explain that all the time. We're still in an uptrend of higher highs, higher high, higher high, higher low, higher low, higher low. We have this falling wedge breakout right here. We still have not even tested the overall uptrend of this uptrend right here so you guys can see we have this uptrend of the lows so we have higher low higher low higher low and you see this blue line which is our uptrend we haven't even tested that that would be down at about the four dollar range four dollar five dollars range. let's see exactly it'd be at about yeah the five dollar range um, about five dollars five dollars ten cent range so we could come all the way down to there and still be extremely bullish in my opinion and really on AMC if you look at my video when I talk about the short squeeze for Volkswagen, if you look at the chart, it almost looks very similar to AMC's right now. We have a higher high, a higher high, and a higher high, and it's kind of in that uptrend pattern, and look how it just dumped and then ripped up. So you have to be prepared for absolutely anything with the stock because it could rip at any moment. I believe that we are in the uptrend phase. As you guys can see on that chart, there was an uptrend phase. We went up, and then it had a little bit of a dump. I don't know if that's going to necessarily happen for AMC, but 
it looks like we maybe this would maybe even be that dump. I don't want to give out dates, but I believe we are extremely close. If you look at the macroeconomic picture, the market crash, everything that's happening, all the price pieces are aligning for this short squeeze and all the things that we predicted, the apes predicted are coming to fruition. So if you look at the technical analysis on the smaller time frame, we have the breakout of the falling wedge. You guys can see we're definitely getting that bounce. We have a small micro, which means smaller um, uptrend right here. So we have a very small uptrend that we are still holding. Again, this is just the bounce from one market day. We have to see if this uptrend holds, but I do think we are getting the bounce. We're getting the breakout of this falling wedge. I do think next week will be a green week and we will be retesting these highs of $6 next week. And that is just my personal opinion. I think the weekly candle will be a green weekly candle. And that is my prediction for next week based off the technical analysis. Price points that I'm looking at to hold as support are $5 and again, $4.50. But I think we're getting the bounce here at $5 and about 25 cents, five dollars and 30 cents. I think that's where we're getting the bounce. And I begin, I predict green week for the weekly candle. If we look at the bigger time frames, when in doubt, zoom out. Look at the green weekly MACD. This correlates with large run-ups to the upside. As you guys can see, green weekly MACD, large run-up to the upside. Green weekly MACD, large run up to the upside and that is happening every single time we have the green weekly macd without fail we have a large run up to the upside so that is what i'm looking at also we have the uptrend we also have the bollinger bands constricting on the weekly time frame so if you look at the bollinger bands this is indicative of large movements as you guys can see bollinger bands squeeze tight movement to the upside bollinger band squeeze tight large movement to the upside bollinger band squeeze tight large movement to the upside and we have the breakout of the two-year downtrend. So this is a two-year downtrend falling wedge breakout. The technical pattern is very, very easy to find the top of. You take the pole of the falling wedge, which is the high and then the pre or the low and then the next high. And then you go ahead and take that to your breakout point. And as you guys can see, that would easily put us above all-time highs. And if AMC goes to above all-time highs, it will absolutely take off and possibly go to $100, $1,000. Volkswagen went to $1,000 of about 13 to 14% short interest. AMC has 20 25 24% short interest right now. It could go absolutely crazy. I believe that there are naked shorts because of all the failure to delivers that we have, all of the FTDs. I believe that there is naked shorting going on. We also have FTDs coming due because of T plus 35, which is extremely bullish, which shares have to be purchased out of the open market. This is happening all next week. As you guys can see, the dates are right here. Um, there ha it's happening all next week. We will be having shares available or shares coming do that have to be closed out because of T plus 35. Things are looking extremely bullish. We are on the threshold security list still. GME was on the threshold security list for 39 days when it went to $500. We are going on day 24, day 25, around that range. Things could get absolutely crazy and this is what i'm looking at and that's why i say we are very very close amc used to just pop on and off of the threshold security list now it is permanently on there and this is a problem and that is also indicative of naked shorting this is proof of naked shorting. The FTDs are proof of naked shorting. If you look at the options chains, all the put action that we see, that's how they're hiding short interest. That's indicative of naked shorting. AMC is getting naked shorted. There are synthetic shares. And when this thing squeezes, it's absolutely going to be massive. 25% legal short interest, 100% cost to borrow. Things are getting insane. For AMC stock. So that is basically the fundamental data that I was going to look at, the 100% cost of borrow. Um, like I said, there's always a lot of uh, gamma in the options chain, but we have to get above the $6 range for that to take action. So if we do see that bounce to $6, $6, $7 next week that I am anticipating, you could see things get very, very crazy, very, very fast because it could easily push us up to that $6 range. And if we get above the $8 to $10 range, $8 to $12 range, which I marked the golden zone, you guys could see a massive move to the upside because if you look, every time we get above there, there's little support 
and resistance to hold us down. Every time we get above there, you see massive candles to the upside. And that is what I'm looking at on the bigger time frames, the bigger picture. When in doubt, zoom out. And on the smaller picture, that is where I'm getting the indication that we are getting a bounce, that things are still extremely bullish. And if you take the bigger picture and the aspect with the technical analysis, it's very, very bullish. And then add the fundamental data on top of that, you have even more bullish conclusions. If you look a, uh, that institutions have been buying and holding this stock as long as we have ever since Q1 2021, they have been buying and holding and they have not been selling. So institutions are absolutely loaded up on amc this is the institutional ownership for amc and they are absolutely loaded up and holding just like we are and this is another sign that something massive is coming if we look at the on balance volume for amc so this is the obv for amc and if you look at the obv on amc and zoom out you guys can see that the price range should be about $44. If we go to the daily time frame or the weekly time frames, you guys can see that the price range, this is the OBV. So the OBV shows crowd sentiment and it shows basically buying sentiment and volume. And as you guys can see, apes also have been buying and holding and you can tell by the OBV being about the same price as the original run up and not coming down so as you guys can see it ran up and it really price should be up in this range because of all the buying pressure showed by the obv this is just more showing that there's indicative naked shorting you shouldn't even be able to buy shares of amc right now with all the short interest and all the the cost to borrow and utilization being pinned to max there shouldn't even be shares to borrow this thing should be squeezing right now and there is so much buying pressure built up and this is just another indication of that but guys this is basically the video remember next week you need to look out for year over year inflation for march 14th and the core inflation rate uh coming out march 14th again if it comes out above or below that will affect the markets i explained that earlier in the video if you look at all of the data for amc it is looking extremely bullish the dominoes are coming in the place amc is looking bullish on the technicals on the fundamentals if you look at the overall economic macro picture the banks failing the dominoes are falling phase six is in effect and things are kicking off for the moas that is just my personal opinion go ahead and check out my video on how a market crash could easily cause the amc short squeeze i'll link that down in the comment section below check me out on discord and twitter they're absolutely Free, and you can ask me questions there, whatever the case may be. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out. All right, guys, that was the video. Hopefully you found it informative. I try to pack it with as much value and information as possible for free. That way you guys can get the most out of this channel. As always, you guys can check me out on Discord and Twitter. Absolutely free free ask me questions there whatever the case may be it doesn't matter i'll try to get back to each and every one of you and as always hopefully you found the video informative i know i did if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out